Good afternoon everybody in Caddyland. Hey, sorry for the uh, minor delay but as you can see from the weather outside it's not exactly dry and there's been a few other delays. So uh, anyway what I'm going to do is just give you a quick heads up as to what you're going to need to do in advance. So you're going to need a few tools because the area you're going to be going into is firstly you can see the water I've got is you're going to have to take out the uh, glove box uh, that's going to give you access to pretty much everything that you can see in here because you're going to be looking right up inside there uh, for those of you that have got problems with the heater uh, running but basically not giving any hot air out uh, that is caused down here by your resistor and that's a common fault so you're going to be taking that out it's probably a good idea to remove this top piece here that runs down because you're going to need to see that there's no water coming down there because that's another favourite one and I think if I look I can't see much at the minute but my floor is wet interestingly uh, I've got no such issues on the driver's side the driver's side is totally clear dry as a bone no water nothing so I've cured the problem on one side shed and you are going to be removing this entire gutter section all the way down here to get in behind there and what you're going to find is you're going to find loads of crud in there by the way the clips you're going to need to order some because they're all going to snap I'll tell you that now there's no way of getting them off but intact without them breaking so what happens is obviously your water comes down here and then in there, you can't really see it's not particularly clean though, there's a few leaves so what's happening is water's coming down here, getting stuck uh, in the gutter trap and then leaking down onto the floor uh, the other area where you're going to get possibly problems for people with damp roof liners is that seal around there and that seal that runs across this top edge, sometimes they leak so that would be why you probably get a bit of water in your headliner but like I said you're gonna have to get your screwdrivers out because it's a bit more than a five minute job to investigate exactly where the problem is and the problem obviously is between this fascia this panel and the gutter train uh, I did make some videos earlier on about the scuttle so that was already dealt with uh, about four or five videos ago could have been longer I took off all the scuttle cleaned it all out cleaned all the tray out and did the ECU modification on that side that covers it so that stops that problem so if you need to know about that that's in a video somewhere back there uh, I mean you can actually see if I sort of just if I can zoom in on it you can't see it so well but it's green and also if you look at the windscreen in that corner you can just see where water build up has started glass has just started to delaminate in that corner so there are all the problems I'm going to be covering that's about it just for today uh, I'm not going to work out in this awful fucking weather um, but that just gives you the heads up on why the video is going to take a little bit longer it's not going to be a five minute video because I said I want to explain fully what's going on uh, in terms of my heater brilliant Hot air, everything's working fine, just the water. Uh, which you have to say, this is the first time I've had real water problems in the caddy. I've never had this before, not in any of them, but unfortunately, in this one, um, yeah, you know, I mean, the carpet under there is absolutely soaked, so it doesn't matter to me because the carpet's coming out anyway, all this interior is coming out. And as I do it, I will show you where the problems are. Also, that little corner there, you can see it. Sometimes you see water dripping down here. So that's a clear sign that it's coming down in between that gutter trap on that door trim. So again, that trim is probably going to have to come out along with that one. But it's only two screws and five clips. Just pull it out, check behind it. If you miss something, it's only going to irritate you later on when you find a leak. Um, but that's about it for the moment, so do, I do apologise for the delay, people, because I know that there's people out there waiting to see the video and try and get on with the job. 
Um, but there we go, that's about it. But it's just a quick update. I shall fill you in with all the details when I finally get around to stripping it down and showing you where it leaks. But as I said, I've done one side. Fine, we've got no problems, no water, nothing. Dry as a bone. Passenger side. <laughs> yeah, bring your wellies, bring your wellies. Right folks, that's about it. I'll catch you on the flip side and I'll speak to you later on. Okie doke, bye for now.